Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today I am going to uh, discuss about the uh, as uh, the chairperson say uh, issues regarding the uh, land development act. So uh, my topic is an analysis of the legal issues uh, regarding the nomination of the successor of land development amendment act number 16 of 1969 in the light of. Uh, constitutional right to equality. So, before I start my discussion, I would like to show the outline of my presentation. Let's start with the successor. As uh, section 22 of the 16 of 1969 uh, Act says, a person who entitled under this chapter to succeed to that land or holding upon the death of the permit holder or owner. Thereof, if that permit holder or owner died leaving behind his or her spouse upon the failure of that spouse to succeed to that land or holding upon the death of spouse. So, in simply manner, person who can entitle to the uh, property after the death of someone, uh, someone can be called as a successor. <coughs> This is the methodology which I use in this research, combination of qualitative and quantitative research method. So uh, I use three systems from the Mahavira development area, system A, uh, G and system C. These systems were selected according to the, uh, based on the generation because uh, I could found out fourth generation from the system H, system G, third generation, system C. Uh, second generation. In my sample it was considered 330. Uh, each system I selected 10. So and data collection was primary sources and secondary sources. And I did focus interview with uh, these officers from each uh, system. And I analyze my data, SPSS, uh, uh, quantitative data with SPSS system and the qualitative data uh, with quantitative qualitative analysis. Let's move to the Maha uh, history of the Mahavali development program. So after the post uh, in the post colonial period, we can see many of colonization programs but they were not succeed because of the lack of infrastructure facilities. Anyhow, in 1970s, the government could succeed to establish, implement Mahavari development program with the help of uh, United Nations, uh, with the UN, sorry, UNM, U UNDP and UNDP and FAO. Anyhow, it was uh, diverted as an accelerated Mahavari development program in 1978. This is the map of it. So, we could uh, identify uh, main purposes agriculture diversification, manufacture hydroelectricity, uh, electricity, and irrigation, and settlement is the uh, main purpose which I discuss in this uh, discussion. So this Mahavali, uh, this one fifth of territory of this project, uh, Sri Lanka, it was governed under the Land Development Amendment Act when they nominate the successor to this land. Anyhow, the special thing is this nomination of the successor restrict under this third schedule rule, uh, rule one. As it is it's mentioned, son, as a priority of this table. When they nominate the successor, they have to, they, the law give priority to the son. So, considering this with Article 12, which is constitution, constitutional right to equality, which is fundamental right for us, considering with this law, there we can see. Uh, contradiction with those, those two laws. All persons are equal before law. 
entitled to the equal protection of law but but considering with uh, third schedule we cannot see such a equality before law because it gives priority to the sons so because of this reason this contradiction in mahavir zone i could found out various issues has arisen and it is continuing happening in those areas economic cultural social and legal issues here i am going to uh, discuss about the legal issues what are the issues i could found out after the research so discrimination against sex discrimination within elders youngest family violation of the right to inherit violation of matrimonial right to property violation of right to land and self dignity so these are the uh, question uh, these are the issues which i identified through my research let's uh, focus to uh, my research of the research so discrimination against sex in my sample uh, there were eight women but, uh, from eight seven out of eight those uh, they, those women would say yes they are discriminate based on sex the grievant stories of this uh, this uh, mahavir son is they say uh, they were the women were outside home by the elder son also though they were elder sisters elder daughters in the family the property entitlement of the property can only uh, entitlement of the property succeed by the younger younger son in the family this very grievous story anyhow in considering with the uh, legal framework in sri lanka we can find out various legal uh, statute and provisions and convention we ratified but it did not uh, but considering this with the article uh, <coughs> sorry uh, considering this with the uh, third schedule this law has become uh, useless actually Uh, considering the issues discrimination within uh, elders younger in family there are so many uh, myths they say about they uh, they have brothers too many brothers but only elder son get the most priority and they, he has discretionary powers though uh, according to the research they mention surviving spouse has a uh, life interest but she or he cannot uh, against that decision of the elder son because that life interest spouse has only life interest <coughs> considering the violation of right to inherit uh, many of them say males do not like to devolve their ownership of the land to women because they think women live with the, uh, another man so if they uh, divide their property to that women they think their property goes to another family so that's because of that they don't like to divide the property with the uh, daughters considering with the right to matrimonial property in here we could identify uh, matrimonial right of the maid did not very uh, specifically uh, discuss but international even is internationally this matrimony right to in uh, right to matrimonial property we could find out violation of right to land and self dignity in here in the preamble of the ic esc escr it says everyone may enjoy his economic social and cultural rights so to enjoy this economic uh, right we have to have the land without land because this is uh, this in this mahavali area the main uh, economic uh, sector is the uh, farming agriculture so without land they cannot uh, continue their livelihood uh, also without they can't build up their residence without livelihood and residence they cannot enjoy their dignity of their lives so as my conclusion uh, 
this is the huge uh, development program even the in the south asia uh, but it did not consider the future generation people are, uh, to avoid this fragmentation of the lands the lands uh, number 19 of uh, 35 uh, land development ordinance were implemented but it was amended in number 16 of the 1969 uh, that provisions uh, considered with the article 12 which is uh, give, which is give uh, equal right before the law considering these two uh, laws we can say it is do not protect the right to equality right. so uh, then many of them asked to amend this law uh, when we uh, when i research the question so they say it has to remove the prioritized table from the third schedule then no one can get the priority so it can be established the uh, equality among all persons so uh, another recommendation they implement they suggest me the procedure which we use to inherit property in the matrimonial rights and inheritance ordinance number 80 of 1923 this is the uh, that uh, procedures half of the property go to the surviving spouse and ha another half of go half of property goes to the children so those half equally divide among the uh, children without considering daughter or son so thank you